So what's going on guys? Uh, it's been a while. It's been about a month since I, or a month and a half, maybe, I don't know, since I dropped the last video uh, when I was just coming up on 10,000 miles. Fortunately, I'm at, let's see, 13,982 right now. And an overdue oil change. I'm not gonna tell you how much. Just, just know I normally change it at uh, 3,500. I'm a little above that. But that's okay because we're going to get it taken care of today in this video. I do apologize for any uh, extra ambient noise like the AC running down the back, a little bit of wind blowing in, cars driving by, and whatnot. Uh, everyone's still up. Uh, I don't have my lighting to uh, do everything in the garage at night. A couple of these bulbs are out. I'm gonna replace them. Uh, I got a couple LED panels back here, but they need new batteries. So, yeah, that's that. Anyways, let's get into it. I'm gonna break it down as far as what do you need uh, for tools, spec, torque on the bolt, the um, oil filter, whatnot, manual, how much oil you need. Pretty, pretty much how to do an oil change on a 2019 ZX6R ABS model, of course, which that really, I don't think really matters. It's ABS or not, other than the braking system. But I could be wrong. I know there might be a difference too between the KRT though. So let's get to it. Let's go ahead and start her up. The manual says to get her warm, let her run at idle for a few minutes. And then of course let it sit for another few minutes to uh, let the oil settle back down. So we're in neutral, we're good. Uh, on the stands, okay, here we go. So now that she's cooled down some, or settled down, still gonna be pretty freaking hot. I got it up to 145, so. I had already pre-warmed it up, or let it run and whatnot. So we're gonna be needing today is 17 millimeter. Of course, you can use that for the drain plug and the uh, oil filter, because I'm using K&N, which I've actually recently picked up one of these uh, high flow the racing edition, which just a little bit better flow, keep the engine cooler. So I've been told. Uh, 303 is going to be the one for the the part number, or whatever oil filter. Same thing for K&N 303, which that's actually what I'm running on there right now. Man, these things save you so much struggle. Like I tell you what, these little cheap things, even the more expensive ones, still don't grip. And that's the smallest one they make in that. This works but you got to take this little cover off uh this little drip cover this doesn't fit this doesn't fit either that's probably the number one gripe or one of the top five gripes which i'll put that in my dislikes video on what i don't like on the 2019s that oil filter is a pain in the ass it just makes a mess coming all down through here <sighs> that's a struggle but Besides from that, I really don't have to take the fairings off or anything. Drain plug's right there. It's pretty straightforward. Just pop it off, have your pan right here, and you're set. So we won't be using any of these today because fortunately I've already gone through the struggle, which I'll actually see if I can put a video up somewhere right over here of uh, two of the stock OEM ones after the, the first few oil changes that I did personally. I had the first one done in the 600-mile service. And it was the most expensive oil change I've done. It's pretty much shit I could have did, but it was the first bike, so I wanted to be taken care of. But you know what? I figured I'd just go ahead and pick up a service manual book and start doing it myself because I'm pretty uh, mechanically inclined. Just kidding. Now, I, I'm pretty uh, pretty good at reading following through with instructions with a very minimal detail. So, yeah, I figure I'd just do everything myself now until I can't do it no more, or until I mess something up, then I'll uh, take it to someone that knows what they're doing. Where it's been in that rodeo. Uh, as far as spec, the drain bolt, 21 foot-pounds. Oil filter, 13 foot-pounds. 
And the instructions for this, it says as long as the o the spec is not more than 15, go ahead and put it at 11. I'm just going to hand tighten it. I can pretty much guess on that one. I have worked on cars plenty of times and kind of got that feel for it. If not, here's your reference. Pretty much everything's in there as far as other specs and oil and whatnot. Uh, let's see. Oil type. Uh, I'm going to be using Motel 7100. 10w40 full synthetic i was running the 300v but honestly i paid 50 bucks or 51 no more than 51 dollars for that oil filter and that oil out the door uh, i normally spend about 50 54 55 if i get a k and n filter which they're saying k and n's pretty much having some production qual or quality control issues right now so and this one's pretty reputable i guess so let's get that out the way. Don't need that. Well, I'm gonna have to move all that. I'm gonna get all this out. Uh, let's see, another 17. I'm gonna use that for the to take this off. That's one thing. A lot of people were having problems with the Canon filters and you know talking trash because they were tightening them on with this. Yes, I still do it, but I mean, don't crank it down, stupid hard. It's only designed to take it off. So I'll be using that for that. This for the drain plug. And this, optional, just in case. You need to go ahead and just twist that, pop that off, which I already loosened it with a towel. Highly recommend putting a towel or you'll tear this up like I did the first time. Go ahead, break that loose. I'm gonna take it off once I actually pull the drain plug off to drain the oil. Go ahead and grab your, uh, your oil pan. In this household, we got a lot of, we had a couple cruisers. So, sorry guys for all the shake. So we have a, quite a bit of Harley Davidson stuff, which I actually like this one. I ain't gotta worry about uh, dropping my, my drain plug down in an oil pan, having to fish it out. Just make sure you take these off. <laughs> I had the habit of, uh, or a uh, mistake of not taking it off last time and it just started bubbling out all over my fairings. Touching too much, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna pop that out. Drain the oil. It's already uh, cooled down. Highly recommend cutting a piece of cardboard or a foil, jamming it up in there. That way you can have it drip down and pull your oil pan out. And I've used that oil pan before too. There's some uh, old 7100 I've used. But yeah, it just helps maybe have some uh, some brake parts cleaner whatever carb carburetor cleaner go ahead and spray some of that down just be careful not to get it on any of these and make sure you oil all these your your pivoting points back up and whatnot from time to time after washing and whatnot which she is in dire need of a wash i know baby i know so i'm gonna go out ride it a little bit after i did the oil change see how she feel you know that satisfying feel when that oil is nice and thick still before it hasn't broken down um then i'm gonna go ahead and detail her up give her a good wash still waiting for some aftermarket parts to come in like i said i've been out of i've been out of town so i haven't been able to upload any video so pretty much everything's the same as last video as of right now but i will be doing updates on any aftermarket parts i decided i'm gonna go ahead and do the valve adjustment or well i'm gonna do the inspection to see where it's at as far as fourteen thousand miles um I was going to send it to the shop and just have them go ahead and do the whole adjustment and replace the shims. But they uh, charged me a bit too much. It's outside my budget and I kind of want to learn it. So I'd rather spend the 80 bucks plus the parts I'm going to spend if I have to replace the shims. But more than likely, I just get a filler gauge, get the valve cover gasket, go and do the inspection myself and see if I'm out of spec. I'll be showing you all the install on the double bubble windscreen. I mean, my bad. I went ahead and decided to go with the Corsa. I ordered the double bubble. Had a scratch on it since I was going ahead and sent it back. I ordered the light smoke Corsa. So hopefully that one comes comes back in good shape. If not, I'll send it back again and order the clear do or clear Corsa. So far it's been my favorite. It pretty much makes a big difference as far as this lousy excuse for a windscreen. This thing doesn't do shit.
anyways let's get started ratchet. i wouldn't recommend using the 12 point side just so you don't tear the bolt i'm going to slide that out i forgot to pick up a, a little wash that kind of hurt your washer and some gloves dang it sorry i have to Speed allowed all over the place. Honestly, if you're quick enough, you can grab it. Just push it in that way. When you're doing it, you'll see it starts seeping up. Boom. Just like that. And then, uh, yeah, you can set that over on the side. It's not as bad as I thought. Yeah, it's, it's pretty warm. Highly recommend having some shop towels on standby. This can get messy sometimes. I got pretty good about not making a mess. This is actually my fifth oil change. Uh, first one was at the shop during the 600 service. And the next one was at 3,500 or 3,300 miles after that. With the 300V, which is my first time using that. Then next time after that was what, like? 65 I don't know I've been doing it in 3,500 mile increments this time I've gone a little above that close towards 4,000 so but this 71 this uh, what is it called uh yeah 7100 my motel tends to uh hold up pretty good so let all that drain out go ahead and pull up that other side Get all that oil out. Then I'll take my piece of cardboard, stick it up under the oil filter, and let that drain out as well. Let me show you a little quick tip. Go ahead, take a little bit of oil. I'm just using the used oil that's on there. I mean, there's it's still good shape for the most part. There's gonna be a little bit of leftover. It's in the engine anyways. Got a little 17 millimeter. Show you what I do. Uh, I learned this off of someone's YouTube. Stick that bad boy in there. And what we'll do is put a wall down in here until it fills up. That way I'm not having to put the full 3.3 quarts of uh, oil into the motorcycle right off the bat. I can just kind of eye it out after I do about two and a half or 2.5 to 2.8, which is what's on here. So with the filter on, which stating that filter is kind of full with oil, 3.0 quarts or 2.8 liters. So yeah, I was actually reading that wrong. And then without 3.3 quarts. So if you're doing this dry before you, if you're throwing a dry filter on there, 3.3, and you're still gonna maybe have to top it off more than likely to get it right in the between the low and the high point. You want it kind of right in the middle, maybe a little bit higher up. So yeah, 3.1 liters or 3.3. Anyways, let me go ahead and crack that 300, uh, or uh, T7100. All right, so see what I did there? I put that piece of cardboard, kind of cut it pretty small. I have the oil pan and everything right there. Highly advise pushing all these little ho these uh, breather hoses and whatnot. As much as you can move out the way, move it out the way. That way, when you uh, go and clean up, it's not so much of a pain. Get this squared away. Okay. Well, here we go. Yeah, make sure. You, that's what I like about this oil pan because I can make sure wherever this sticks out, I can get it off pretty easily. I should grab a longer extension. Oh, all that nasty oil. Boom, right there. Wow. Oh, that's why you have rags. And this is why I clean all my tools afterwards. So 
I've yet to get any down, up, and back here yet. So, but as soon as I pull this card out, it's gonna start dripping again. Just the way it goes. In the meantime, kind of just look up in there and inspect. There's been a couple times, or the first two times when I had to get that almost like a, I want to say like a can crusher. It may just it demolishes the the thing without having to. Uh, puncture a screwdriver in there and twist it off which that works too i actually did that the first time before acquiring one of these and with the screwdriver it takes some time to work out and you gotta watch out you don't hit the threads in there but other than that i mean screwdriver works fine this does too but in order to fit this or any of the other ones on primarily this one you have to take these three bolts out one right here it's a little allen kilo five millimeter so top left top right and uh, bottom center and that little cover comes off but you also make more of a mess too. Okay, so let me go ahead and move some of that for. Let's see if I can get this out and make a mess. Ow. It's gonna make my life easier. Alright, so I got the longer extension. That way I can just pop this bad boy out. Carefully seat it on there. Easy. You don't wanna strip or cross thread it. I mean, it, it's going on there smooth and you barely just turned it. Nice little seal. Go ahead and double, double check, verify that one. Yeah, there we go. That went on smooth, okay. Well, a little bit of the fresh oil started dripping out. It's okay. There's nothing we can't clean. Watch out if you spray any brake part cleaner or anything, because uh, the paint from the lettering on the canisters, like this one, started to come off and it started to get everywhere. So I had to spray it again and clean it, because you know that stuff is just strips everything. So, they say not to do this, but I do it anyways. I just don't do it very tight. But I'm just. tight enough there we go Boom. that's not gonna come on once it gets that suction it's gonna like almost seal and lock on so that's that we're good we always want to make sure it's not leaking so before I start up I will go ahead and spray that clean up that way if it does start leaking I can see it guys if it is gonna be longer than I thought You're gonna have a little bit of seeping out. I should honestly probably drop it off the uh, front stand, but it's okay. Once again, you can put down to spec, which is going to be 21 foot pounds. based off feel y'all can hate me for in the comments just enough to seal it not too much don't kill it I've seen a bunch of techs strip shit on cars or break them off in there and we gotta eat it uh, yeah all that extra oil I'm gonna have to clean off it's finally sometimes it drips down from here too push that out on that far side, just in case we just drop any oil whenever we're uh, pouring some in. Let's make it to the other side. Once again, with the filter on, since we go ahead and got, we have oil in it, I'm going to start with 2.5 and kind of work up to 2.8. See where we're at. I actually might do a little less than that. I'll start checking it at like 2. So, once we get down to here, about halfway. This is pretty straightforward. Before I install it, but I make a mess, so we'll see. All 
That shouldn't be the issue. Okay, so we got a Titan drain plug, Titan oil filter, and Titan oil opening reservoir cap. Or no trimmer, just to show y'all. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> I did a lot of miles on that oil change. That's how many I got on these new Battle Axe, my second set of S22s. And that's how many miles on the bike. Okay, so y'all saw how hot I got her. Over 145, so. And then some. So let's settle down, take her off the stands, hold her level, and check the oil level. Once it all settles down to a, to a hole. 